Welcome back everybody, it's Lance with Honeycutt's Brush. Appreciate your time. I'm Lance Money Coast Pro. See you in the next one. Today we got a little project we're going to get into. As you can tell, these boards have seen better days. So we're actually going to take these out. These are 10 foot, six, two by eights. I bought 11 two by 12s because you got three here, five in the middle, and then three on the other side. As you can see, we got a hole already, but what we're gonna do is take all these out, replace just the front for now, because this is normally where the skid steer is anyways, and then we'll go back with your 14 foot plus a couple inches on the backside to finish that up later, but we just wanna get this part done. We bought about around 176 self-tapping screws. I'm gonna put money on it that not a single one of these are gonna come out easy. And then we'll just redrill the holes and put the self-tappers in later. Um, once we get it done, we'll put, lay the boards in there first and then drill our pilot holes and then throw the self-tappers in once we get them drilled so that they're permanent. But yeah, that's our job today. I got it under the, the barn because it's been raining. But anyways, guys, we're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and start make, taking these boards down. But we're going to get into this so that I can be ready for this weekend because I'm going to use the gooseneck to take it where I'm going. We're just going to jump right into it. That's gonna come up pretty easy. This right here. Trash. Just see these self tappers right here if I get out of the light. We're gonna break these off. Lucky, and we can do it to all of them like that. Or you can. Well, that'll save me some time. I'll only go get the rest of it. Uh, might not all do, but it do what will. Hell yeah. <laughs> Worth a try. A lot easier than dealing with that. They fit us in a piece. And you're right. Two, one, one, one. Here's two, one. So you can do what you want. We just put them back like that. Okay. What, what I thought about doing is when we finish putting new boards in this thing, where they're put together like this, is go and get a piece of four inch flat steel and lay it across there and tack welding it or welding it here, here, and in the center so that these boards, when the sun shines, don't pull up like that. Yeah. Because all you want to do is keep it from these boards coming up in the sunshine. Yeah. How much for the boards piece? Uh, it was 180, it was $180 for all of them. Everything I've done, they've been $180. The screws are $180. The boards is $180. Yeah, they were. For 11. And the six, now the 16, the 16 footers that you're gonna have to buy for these, are not cheap, they're $33 a piece. So it's gonna be more like $300. I might just do it all before it's said and done. I mean, we can do this half right here and then kind of- for now and then do that another day. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get to it.
it for today. Obviously, as you saw, we got it off a little bit easier than I thought we were going to. Now we just got to put it back on. We learned some things, learn how to break things, learn how to fix things. You know how the world goes. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the morning. We're going to work on this tomorrow. All right, so we're back here day two. And we made pretty good amount of progress yesterday. A couple things we're going to do here and there, but it's done. Tell them. Let them know. Let them know. <laughs> Anyways, the plan today is we're going to cut these boards to length, drill some holes, tack back our wire, because that right there is what holds the wire up underneath the board. And then uh, this is going to be what draws our straight line. It's just some framing chalk, is what I call it, um, and do that today. So let's, uh, let's just jump right back into it and get this thing going. Okay, so one thing we're going to have to do is cut these boards in length. So we're actually going to, we're going to grab one of these old ones that's actually fully intact, get a measure on it. I think we measured them last time at 10 foot 6 inches. So I'm going to pull it down. We're going to get a good look at it get them graded up and I'm gonna cut these new ones that are right here below the camera and get them all cut to size because they're all the same, they're all, all be the same length. 10 foot, about six inches or so. I think it was six and a half. Maybe I'm going crazy. Anyways, we're gonna get this thing worked out. So uh, let's just jump into it. thing on the list cut the length and drill some holes and get them on so let's do it real quick I was a little off 10 foot 7 and 5 8 let's double check down here we just want to be butted, butted up to the board. Can't put seven and five eight. That's what it does. So we're just gonna get to it. We're gonna knock these out. 
All right, guys, we'll see you. I'm gonna throw it on the time lapse on the top frame. We'll see you in a little bit. Day two, we've got it figured out. What I've got is I'm just using the impact and I got this electrical drill. And you, you can tell, matter of fact, I'll just pull you down so you can see what I'm talking about. I've already been doing some work. I gotta get the middle done. But I've got the middle started. It was a job. I ended up breaking not one, but two bits. So what we're trying to do is just make sure, and we did two right there just for keeping. We may put a steel, a flat piece of steel over top of all these so they don't bow up. But what we got left is the middle. I didn't have a string to tie. You saw it in the time lapse. We're gonna knock this thing out. I just gotta get the rest of these done. You can sort of see where I put my X's. I took a string and I just drew my X's with the string. So we're gonna do that and get back into it. I've already started down there. I'm gonna do a couple more this way and then I'm gonna take this side and come to the middle. Okay, so we got it done. Let me get this down. We got the decking done, let's put it that way. And I'm telling you what, I ain't signing up for that again. We're in the middle, it's still got some stuff on it, but it's a done deal. I doubled up down here because I didn't want it to bow up. They didn't do that when we did the original wood and I went every single run. I put two, one, two, one, two, one all the way down. Matter of fact, it looks dirty over here because quite frankly, I just been, it beat me to death. Drilling and screwing and drilling and screwing. It just looks, I mean, it's night and day. Night and day. So, first time ever doing that. And I'm not going to wish that on anybody. Whoever does that for a living, kudos to you. Because you got some strong hands, some strong forearms, because mine are busted right now. in there okay hey babies this side's not working where's that at? I can show you why those wires got pulled out so we're going to figure that out that's so what we're gonna jump into now. And then, you can see these wires hanging. We're we'll gonna get these tacked back up. And I got the tools to do that, so let's jump into that right now. We just gotta figure out, now you guys can help me see this, obviously. We gotta figure out what's what. I bought it. There we go. Get this a little more juice. We're gonna cut that off there. Oh. If I was bet man, I'd say black to black, yellow to yellow. We are about to find out. Twist them up. Here it is.
Let them know. Tell them to go on somewhere. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to back this up right here. Tack it right there. trailer guys relax new oh we'll be doing that second half later but that's what we wanted to get done today for the last two days now i can work got all my lights hooked back up everything's ready to roll we're gonna do a little pre-trip we're gonna roll on down the road get this kid steering the mulcher and the grapple bucket on here and we're gone i'm actually gonna put this in the end of the video this is actually about a week or two after i finished this back of the trailer i just wanted to show you know that we've been using it Actually, didn't it? I ended up not having to take it on that job. I got my my trailer and everything fixed. Two weeks of using it. This is, I think it's done really good. We're gonna get this second half done at some point. It just needs it. Don't don't mind the fold up planter. We're gonna be working on that this summer, uh, trying to get that done. But we do have one problem, and I was gonna run this by you guys. I've got the wiring problem is this on my truck when you open the doors and on my brother's truck as well because we both use this trailer when you open the doors you know the lights come on on the exterior of the truck well every time that happens and you're connected to this trailer right here the fuse blows inside the truck it's a little 30 amp fuse that blows inside the truck i've had to change it out two to three times it's when you're you know running in at night the nighttime lights are on if you have any suggestions there may be a background somewhere but we've looked everywhere and can't seem to find it we may have to just get the whole thing rewired and quite frankly i'm just gonna pay somebody to do that what i would say that they are hungry <laughs> guys i just wanted to show you a little bit of that appreciate you we'll see you in the next video coming out next thursday i've tried to put some shorts in between but yeah looks really good all right guys we'll see you later